Let's kick it off in three, two, one, go. The Red Alliance won the last match in the series with a whopping score of 93 points. The Blue Alliance hungry to make sure it goes to a second round. We'll see what their strategy is to that end. Here over these next two minutes and now 15 seconds. Red Alliance starting again with three null hatches pre-installed and three pieces of cargo. They're able to seal one of those pieces of cargo in courtesy of Apex Robotics during the Sandstorm period. And now Apex will go fetch cargo from the human player wall and try to lob it at the cargo bay. Then they're going to have to drive back, reset that cycle, but pick up another piece out of the depot and come right back to the center. Red Alliance cargo ship here on the left. On the right side, we've got our Blue Alliance here featuring our rookies, MVR, even a finalist banner or a winner banner. It's a high honor for a rookie team. They fought hard to get here and they're proving they still belong, adding more and more cargo into this Blue Alliance cargo ship here in the center of the field, three points at a time, ticking that Blue Alliance score, which right now sits at 29, just 10 points behind the Red Alliance with a minute and a half left to play. Blue Alliance team over here of Royal Robotics now out of Bothell. They're bringing cargo in to the Blue Alliance cargo ship. They can't quite get it to go though. They're gonna have to deal with the defense of the Robo Sparks. There's defense all around now. Aimbot over here on blue, looking at Jack in the Bot, trying to screw up these cycles. Jack in the Bot has to try three times to get that cargo to go in the tail end of the Red Alliance cargo ship, but it finally goes. Apex pulling in hatch panels from their human player right in front of me. They're gonna drive off and try to build the Red Alliance rocket in the top left corner of the field. Aimbot putting on the pressure, almost descores a hatch panel off the Red Alliance cargo ship. It's super close, but they're able to make sure they don't. And they don't attract too much undue referee attention there. Already heading off to the habitat zones here. 36 seconds left in the match. Red Alliance is up 60 to 38. What do we have for habitat score coming in? Aimbot putting on the pressure, putting on the pressure even harder now in our final 30 seconds. As now Apex Robotics falls back down and oh, they fall all the way back down. They're down on the surface of Planet Primus. That defense from Aimbot forcing Jack Bot to take a different path around and they end up tripping up their Alliance partners and they fall. Four seconds left in the match, Red Alliance still up according to the live score. Aimbot not able to get that level three climb they were able to do earlier in the day, but they'll still pick up a level one for three along with their Alliance partners also picking up three, that's MVR. And then six points there to Royal Robotics for that level two hab climb score. Finals match two, results are certified. They're good to go. And the Red Alliance is taking home a champion's banner from this one with a final score of 78 to 52. Congratulations, Apex, Jack in the Bot, and Robo Sparks. Stick around, folks. In a little bit, we're going to have an awards ceremony after this.